Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. And today's video is going to be dedicated to Rocksmith. Now, this is all going to be relevant to the PC version of Rocksmith, not really the console versions. Because if you've ever played Rocksmith on a PC, there's one thing that you absolutely hate about the game. And it's this stupid freaking cable right here. It's the Ubisoft uh, Rocksmith cable. They're real tone cable. It has a quarter inch to USB so that way you can plug your guitar into the computer. Which most of the time Windows does not recognize or it recognizes as something called Hawksmith. Uh, it's not exactly the right thing. The drivers just screw up constantly. And the only way to fix it is uninstall and reinstall the drivers. Which you just have to keep plugging and unplugging in this damn cable. Because Ubisoft does not have a download for the actual drivers themselves. At least none I can find over the years that I've been looking. Uh, sometimes you got to plug it into a different USB port. Sometimes if you even leave it plugged into the same USB port, don't turn off your computer at all. You come back to it, you try to play the game, and it just doesn't work. So I'm going to show you a way to get rid of that stupid ass cable and still be able to play Rocksmith. Now for this video, I'm going to be assuming that since you're using it on PC, you have some kind of audio interface and use your computer to record sometimes. If not, you can get audio interfaces fairly cheap nowadays. Realistically, for this purpose, you only need a one channel interface which I don't even know if they make one channel anymore. It's normally two channel and they're pretty damn cheap. But realistically, like I said, any interface will work. I got an eight channel interface, which is completely overkill. I use it for other things, but it'll completely work for this purpose. Now, the way that you do this is you get yourself a guitar cable. You get yourself your guitar, plug it in, plug it into the first channel on your interface. It has to be the first channel. For some reason, it would not work with any other channels. And you have to have your interface churned up kind of loud just so that way I can get all the tones of the guitar you almost want it redlining and now for this next part we're going to go ahead and go over to the computer now once you have your guitar plugged in you're going to want to hit control go down to where it says input and you want to change that the microphone now what this is normally added into the game for is so you can play acoustic guitar with some of the songs uh, you can plug in a microphone to your interface again make sure it's plugged into input one just because that's how it reads it Go down, select your interface, mine's the Sapphire Audio, and what you're going to want to do is turn your guitar up and go ahead and strum it. And then if you're experiencing any kind of lag or anything like that, just hit Escape, go out of here, hit Space, go into your Options, Visual Settings, and Display Lag Correction, and do what it tells you to do here. Mine seems fine. But then after that, you will see that if we go back here, Actually, you can probably see in the tuner right here. If I strum, you can go ahead and see that the speakers are going, and you can see that I'm out of tune. And this tuner on here is very, very sensitive, especially with the interface. But yeah, it works fine for me. Hopefully, it works great for you guys. Hopefully, you guys don't have to deal with the annoying real tone cable anymore, and you can just use your interface if you already have one. But anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, go ahead and leave a like on it. Um, subscribe if you want more random stuff like this. I've been mainly doing guitar and music stuff just because it's what I'm into right now. It's what I'm really into right now. I've been trying to record a bunch of music, so doing Rocksmith and figuring out my picks, my tuners, and stuff like that. If you guys like those videos, go ahead and leave a like on those also. So that way you guys can tell me if you're interested in what I'm interested in. If not, tell me what kind of videos you guys would like to see because I have interest everywhere if you guys have seen my channel, you can see that my interests are all over the place and hopefully you guys like that I do the videos like that. Uh, if not, let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. But other than that, subscribe if you want more of these and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>